Hey guys, today on People Now, from the wedding bands to the celebrity guests, find out everything we know about Gwyneth Paltrow's private wedding. Prince William meets Prince William. We will explain. <laughs> Twilight fans, get excited. Edward, Jacob, and Bella are all back just in time to get your vampire fix for Halloween. JWoww steps out with her Jersey Shore co-stars only days after filing for divorce. Knowing Jen and Val, it's going to be over the top. Adam Rippon opens up about the part he'll play in his former dancing partner Jenna Johnson's upcoming wedding. It's all today on People Now. Let's go. Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome to People Now. Great to see you. Can't believe this. October 1st. It's crazy. Summer over. It's officially fall. How are we feeling about this? Woo! Decent? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. It is here. So to celebrate <laughs> the new season, we want to know what is your favorite fall activity? So many to choose, choose from. So tweet us your answer with the hashtag People Now. You may see it on the show. I like apple picking. <gasps> that is very That's fun. It. Yeah, we'll talk more about I that. Like wearing sweaters. Well, the sweaters, apple, all kinds of possibilities. <laughs> we'll check your response, uh, responses a little later. But for now, here's what you need to know and what's trending today. News here from Cardi B. Cardi B surrendered to police on Monday morning in connection with her alleged involvement with a fight earlier this year at a strip club in Queens, New York. It's according to multiple reports. Now, shortly before 10 a.m., the rapper turned herself in at a precinct and flushing. That's according to NBC Channel 4 News. She was seen wearing a tan colored skirt with a thigh high slit as well as white blouse and heels. Now, while Cardi will not be arrested, she will be charged with misdemeanor, reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct. That's reported from TMZ. And that outlet saying the charges stem from an incident that occurred on August 29th when two bartenders claimed that Cardi ordered an attack on them. While both women were reportedly injured during the alleged brawl, they both declined to receive medical treatment. A rep for the rapper did not immediately return people's requests for comment, nor did the New York Police Department. A uh, source close to the rapper told the New York Post page six that Cardi chose to head down to the precinct, according to them, to claim her name and innocence. We'll keep you posted on this on People.com. Gwyneth Paltrow is officially a missus. The actress said I do to Glee co-creator Brad Falchuk in a private wedding ceremony on Saturday in the Hamptons, New York. Now, celebrity guests included Jerry Seinfeld, dressed in a crisp black suit and tie, looking good, doing his thing. Uh, Steven Spielberg, who actually cast Paltrow in her first movie back in 1991, Hook. He brought wife Kate Capshaw as his plus one. There they are arriving. Robert Downey Jr. with Rob Lowe in the back seat. Look at that group. I love the hat, by the way. That'd be a fun table at the reception. And Cameron Diaz and her husband, Good Charlotte's Benji Madden. They also showed up. Uh, Cameron trying to cover, but guess what? We still see you. <laughs> Not going to work. Uh, we haven't gotten a glimpse inside the wedding just yet, but actress Blythe Danner told photographers the next day that her daughter's big day was gorgeous and, quote, the most beautiful wedding I've ever seen. Also on Sunday, Paltrow posted a sweet Instagram of her and Falchuk holding hands while showing off their matching gold wedding bands. No caption needed for this one. It definitely speaks for itself. The couple announced their engagement back in January on the cover of Goop magazine's Sex and Love issue. This was after three years of dating. Inside the mag, Paltrow called her now husband the man I was meant to be with. And since she eloped for her first marriage with Coldplay's Chris Martin, she later told people that she was, quote, excited about everything when it came to wedding planning. She said this at the time, quote, I've never had a wedding before, so even though I'm 45, I sort of feel like a 21-year-old. She got her friends in on all the exciting wedding planning as well, a source telling people that ahead of her big day, Paltrow sought out tips and advice from Cameron Diaz, explaining Cameron pulled off a private wedding even though the media found out before Gwyneth wanted the same privacy. Now, Paltrow was previously married to Martin for 11 years before consciously uncoupling in 2014. We remember all of that. And they share two children together. Falchuk also has two children from his 10-year marriage that ended in divorce back in 2013. Happy for that couple. Good for them. All right, Prince William wrapped up his tour of Namibia, Tanzania, and Kenya over the weekend. And during a stop with the British Army Training Unit of Kenya, he met with a local soccer team, and that's where he ran into a man with a very familiar name, Prince William, it turns out. Kensington Palace tweeted out this photo, writing, William meets Prince William. The Duke of Cambridge met his namesake at Kanamba before presenting him with an Aston Villa FC shirt. Now, Aston Villa has been the soccer team that the Duke of Cambridge has long been a fan of. Actually, the football team, if we're going to be authentic here. This meeting actually breaks in uh, royal protocol. Since royals, they're not supposed to shake hands with members of the public. I guess William is willing to make an exception for a fellow prince. Kind of a fun moment there. 
All right, big news here. Twilight fans, get ready, because Netflix announced that they will be streaming the entire movie franchise, and it's just in time for Halloween. It's been six years since the final installment of the Twilight movie franchise premiered in theaters. The series, of course, consists of five films and will be hitting Netflix on October 9th. It includes Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn 1 and 2, which are all movie adaptations of the books by Stephanie Myers that we all know and love and have read from cover to cover, I'm sure. The Twilight franchise played a big role in the massive takeoff of Hollywood careers for Robert Pattinson, Kristen Stewart. They also dated famously until their 2012 split. Now, fans had a great response to the news on Twitter. One user commenting, Twilight coming to Netflix is the best thing to ever happen, which is a little bit of an overstatement, but for people who love it, <laughs> there you go. The series grossed over $3.3 billion in global sales. I'm excited for it. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm gonna watch it. I'll dip back into that right? little cool pool binge. for Halloween. All right, you got more for us in Star Trek. Yes, we are kicking off Star Trek with a party fit for some serious Jersey Shore stars. So just days after filing for divorce from her husband of nearly three years, Jenny J. Well Farley joined Nicole Snooky Palizzi for the wedding shower of close friend and Jersey Shore co-star Mike the Situation Sorrentino on Saturday. The close pals also brought their four-year-old daughters, Milani and Giovanna, to the event, which was held in where else? New Jersey. J. Well seemed to be all smiles at the party, snapping plenty of photos of her and Snooky's mini knees, enjoying the day and hamming it up for the camera. Mike the Situation and his fiance Lauren, who got engaged in April, called the party their big Italian wedding shower with lemon and Italian mosaic decorations filling the room. They even used the hashtag, the hituation. <laughs> See what they did there? It's so perfect. Love it. I also feel like this wedding is going to be wild. All right, watch this. I'm so excited for this. That's a first look at the upcoming movie Rocket Man, starring Taron Egerton as the legendary Elton John. The trailer was released Monday and already has movie fans pumped for Egerton's performance, who got the chance to show off some of his serious vocal skills by singing Elton John's 1972 hit Rocket Man for the film. Edgerton didn't shy away from sporting some of Elton John's classic looks either. The actor can be seen wearing one of his most iconic outfits, yes, a rhinestone-covered L.A. Dodgers uniform. Rocket Man is set to premiere May 17th of 2019. And those are your Star Tracks for today. All right, guys, stay with us. Olympic ice skater Adam Rippon is spilling some serious deets on Dancing with the Stars pros Jenna Johnson and Val Shmierkovsky's upcoming wedding. Plus, the Good Place star Jamila Jamil is joining us live to talk her hit NBC show and revealing what and who she thinks deserves to be in the Good or bad place. Lots of stuff coming up. Don't miss it. All right, guys, to celebrate October 1st, we've been asking about your favorite fall activity, so let's check in on what you've been saying. Sam says, apple picking and drinking cider. Cider. Perfect. Cider's great. Nice Another cool Twitter day. user says, carving pumpkins while watching Practical Magic. If there's some candy corn and ginger snap cookies involved, too, even better. Leave your candy corn to you. Another tweet going to fall movie Root. Uh, I love getting ready for Halloween and watching Hocus Pocus on repeat. Okay. There you go. Keep sending in your tweets. Now we move on to this. All right, so if you keep up with Dancing with the Stars, you definitely know Jenna Johnson and Val Schmerkoff. So they're both pros on the show, obviously. They got engaged earlier this summer. We can't stop talking about their wedding and following along with what's happening. They're so amazing. There might be a familiar face in the crowd, though. Adam Rippon, who won the Mirabal Trophy on last season's Dancing with the Stars, is best friends with Jenna. We get to find out, once and for all, will he be at the wedding? Well, I'm going to be in Jenna's bridal party. Oh, cool. Um, so that'll be really fun. And it's going to be like in LA, so it'll be pretty local for, for me, which is like great. Thanks, you guys. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Knowing Jenna and Val, it's going to be over the top. It's going to be beautiful and something that I'll probably never forget. All right, so of course, the new season of Dancing with the Stars, it's going. We had to get Adam's take on the whole thing. Yeah, now Jenna, his old partner, is paired with the grocery store Joe from The Bachelorette. <laughs> but he got a lot of heat for his dance last week. Right. But Adam has some advice for Joe. I didn't want you to go wrong, Joe. I was... Let's move on. Yeah. What advice would you give Joe, seeing that he got a lot of heat for his dancing? I'd be like, Joe, <laughs> keep it together. <laughs> Eye on the prize. And, um, you know, I, there's just something about him that, like, he's so endearing mm -hmm. that I think that, like, he just needs to focus on, on being himself and being, like, that, that charming guy. Yeah. Because maybe he was on, um, you know, The Bachelorette for, like, five minutes. 
but like on Bachelor in Paradise, like everybody fell in love with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean everyone fell in love with him even on the five minutes he was on The Bachelor. Yeah. Yeah. When you watch the season, do you miss your time on the show, or is it kind of a relief to not have to train and do everything? You know, it was such a crazy time in my life because it was right after the Olympics, and um, I was doing Dancing with the Stars, and I was on a skating tour at the same time. Uh, so looking back, I always am like, God, I don't know how like I survived. That must have been such a whirlwind for you. Yeah, and I thought I would at least get a lot thinner, and I didn't, so it was just like <laughs> oh, you're a waste. Amazing. He's so funny. And obviously, Jenna and Adam became good friends to the experience. Right. So it looks like double dates for Jenna, Adam, and their men can finally happen. We finally got all got together, and we, um, uh, JP, my boyfriend, was here, and then uh, Jenna and Val, we all went out to dinner. It was great. And has he moved to LA? I think that was also on the docket last uh, night. No, he actually goes back and forth Does between he? Helsinki. Wow. Okay, wow, you that's know. incredible. Any milestones, though, besides, well, he hasn't moved yet, but yeah. anything that like, you've reached? So we met on Tinder, I've told you mm -hmm. this before. So we met on Tinder when I was at a competition in Finland. You know, because I was like really focused. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, when we were there, uh, that competition was like a year ago. And so I'm going to Finland in like a week and a half. And um, it's literally like over the time that the competition happened. So it's like, we've, we've known each other for like a year officially. Hey, it's Hani Al Jamil. I'm from International Sophisticate Magazine. Mind if we ask you 582 questions? Sounds delightful. Where are we exactly? My pied -a just off the coast of Barcelona. What's one thing people don't know about you? <laughs> that I was such a tomboy in high school. See? Wow, looking good. Oh, so perfect. <laughs> the Good Place Gang is back on Earth as the third season of the NBC show. Keep hitting fans with insane twists and turns. And having the time of her second life is the unforgettable Tahani, played by Jamila Jamil, who is joining us now in her pajamas. <laughs> or Jamie, Fiasco. tell us what happened. I packed proper clothes, and then I, I packed them in a dirty bag that had sand and chocolate in it from my recent holiday, and the chocolate <sighs> melted all over everything, and now everything is soiled. And it looks, you know, like... So, well, so here we are it on your show. And as we were saying, <laughs> you have great Very PJs. Cheap, and yeah. the shoes. Yeah, so, yeah, like they're super adorable. I slept in these last night, but you know, I take pajamas very seriously, and maybe well, I will inspire. Good thing, out yeah. There I know. Their pajama game. Let's let's talk about this. Uh, season one of the show, we thought we knew what was happening, that we didn't. Season two, we mm -hmm. thought we did. There's all kinds of twists and turns. At this point, how do you describe the show to someone who has no clue what's going on, without spoiling anything? I mean, what what do you say? I mean, it's just the greatest comedy on earth, maybe the only comedy on earth about ethics. Um, oh, right. Manson is in it, and you have to start from the beginning in order to understand the rest of the show, and it is just, it feels like a whole season worth of impact, but per a single episode. Like, you'll net, it's just such a cliffhanger, it's such an intelligent, funny comedy. And people thought it would be too highbrow for network, which is so ridiculous. It's such an underestimation of the people. Yeah, of course. People got it, they yeah. like it. Yeah, they love and it. it. And in this current climate of some really depressing news, it seems to be really like, Bringing people yeah. together and making them feel good right. at the end of the day. And you really pay attention. It's a very twisty show. Mm -hmm. I watched like the first three episodes. I feel like I don't want to say too much because you're yeah, going to yeah, spoil. Yeah. How hard is it for you to keep secrets? Oh yeah, I've had to disown all of my friends just in order to not do so. <laughs> uh, I find it really hard, but you know, it also the show means so much to us that we actually want. Like, I haven't even told my boyfriend what happens in the show. I make him wait, and I have to hide my scripts from him so <laughs> that I can make sure that he doesn't find out because I want him to go along with. Does he want to know? Yeah. Does he try to get it yeah. out of you? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought maybe Everyone would... does. Yeah, that's so uh, And so it's important. Even my manager, I won't tell her anything. <laughs> Drives her insane. Now that, though, your character <laughs> returned to Earth from the Good Place, will yeah. we hear some swearing? Uh, oh, yes, you might hear some swearing. Okay. Not too much. Uh, we learned a new fake swear word, which was soak my deck. Oh. Soak my like soak spraying my, off the deck. Soak right? my deck. Right. Yeah, yeah, just soaking it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so uh, there's new colorful fake swear words as well. So one for the parents to use around the kids. I think loads of people who stop me always come up to me and say thank you for finding a way for me and my husband to swear. If yeah. Our children. <laughs> yeah. Like you said, the show's based, based on ethics. Have you changed while working on the show? Does it make you think about your actions a little more? Yeah, totally. I think actually it's actually corrupted my good mode. Like it's corrupted my motivations because now I'm thinking about the point system all the time because I used to be quite agnostic. Okay. Uh, yeah. And now I'm thinking about it all the time. I'm tallying up points and then I'm wondering if the fact that I'm doing it for points means I'm actually going to lose mm. points. And I'm basically just going to hell anyway because I've been in show business for 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> now your character is this iconic name dropper. Are we ever going to meet any of her famous friends? 
I hope so. I think there will be some. I'm not going to give anything away, but we have amazing cameos this season. They're so good. Let's talk about this. We hear you're a bit of a klutz, and that's according to Ted Danson. So we would love to know <laughs> what you did that made Ted Danson the nicest man in Hollywood say that about you. Oh, it's just every time it's I move, I fall over. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I got hit by a car in the first month of filming. I uh, also, there was a biscuit on the ground uh, towards the end of filming season one where I reached to pick it up because I eat off the floor. I have a strict 30 day rule. <laughs> and, uh, and so I went to pick up the cookie off the ground to have with my coffee in my bed and I knocked myself out on the corner of my table and got a concussion that was so bad that I developed seizures for like two months. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm oh. fine now. Um, I mean, do I seem fine? Yeah, right. Uh, this hasn't uh, affected uh, you yeah, at all. Yeah, no, I'm completely fine. Um, <laughs> 32, <laughs> wearing these. Yeah, um, no. no harm done. Yeah, uh, yeah so I, 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 do, I am accident prone. I've lost a tooth on camera before. I've broken my nose. I've broken my arm. So you're worthy like, of the title. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, right. I'm Mr. Bean on ice. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about this. So in your personal life, you're this incredible activist. You're always talking about things on Twitter against body shaming, sexism. You've actually been very outspoken against the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. Called them double agents of the patriarchy this made a lot of headlines have yeah, they I wasn't ever... just talking about them I think it always gets turned into it just being like me versus the Kardashians I don't yeah. hate them I you know I, I there used to be a time I used to feel quite supportive of that family I just think that they don't need to partake in what is sometimes unknowingly being a double agent of the patriarchy there's loads of people who are guilty of that in this industry I'd say more than not yeah, and what's your message to those people? Like, if people would reach out and, like, argue against it. Yeah, well, my message to those people is, you remember what it was like being young and all those insecurities that have stayed in you na up until this point where now, even as an adult, you are still partaking in this culture. It means that that damage has been done to you. Don't take that and recycle it and send that damage out into other young girls. You know, this happened to us. The reason that girls like that or girls in this industry are so insecure about the way that they look and they're always having, I don't know, surgery or doing things that, or talking a lot about their weight and talking a lot about their looks. I think that fear comes from the fact that we grew up with bad role models and bad celebrities and I think it's important for us not to then be those bad role models and celebrities. We have to give girls better values than just thinking about, you can think about your looks, sure. mm -hmm. but not just your looks. Well, and along the same yeah. lines here, you have uh, something called I Way. It's a mm -hmm. movement Which that you're doing. Tell us about amazing. this. So it's at I underscore way on Instagram and it's a movement, it's a kind of revolution against shame. You can find it on Instagram. It's a page where women weigh themselves in their achievements, in their values, in their family, in their jobs, in their education. Finally, we're not going to reduce women down to just a number on a scale. It's time we actually take our place as one half of the world and value ourselves as rounded, multifaceted individuals. So okay, I'm like all about not ever weighing yourself in general. So I love that you're doing this. Before you, you go though, we want to play this little game. Great. Do you love that I'm talking about the serious stuff dressing? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. embarrassing. Actually, it no, all does play yeah. in. You now should be able to wear stressful. whatever you want. No, go on. Uh, tell we're me about gonna your play game. a little game where you're gonna play the good place judge. We're gonna name a few people and things. We want you to tell us if they're going to the good place yeah, or yeah. the bad place. All right. All right. You get it. So uh, here we go. Pineapple on pizza. Good place or bad place? Bad place. Like how rushed are you that you need to eat all of your meals all at once? Ooh, I think we have yeah. a sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. Oh, oh, there it was. It was the evil <laughs> okay, laugh. Good. It's going to the bad place. Okay, okay, go. to the bad Instagram, place. good place, bad place. Good place if we have more things like I weigh. Promo, promo, promo. <laughs> um, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it was the bad place. I think it can become the good place. So I think it's going to, the middle, the medium place. Can I send it there? Yeah. No? So this is the medium place. With yeah. room to grow and improve. I think because yes. of I weigh, I'm On putting it to the good place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, fanny packs, good place or bad place? Oh, you know what? Good place. Yeah. Yeah, it's just very convenient. It's harder to get pickpocketed. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, it can, um... no, it's great. The, the I'm fanny into packs that. even got yeah. the harps, I, uh, the harp sound effect. I'm totally against the fanny packs. So no, no, but now there's like a new trend. Disagree. They're coming back. I think they're super nope. cute. Fa Ted fanny Danson. means female's genitalia. Ted Danson's <gasps> going straight to the good place. Uh, okay, we thought yeah. you'd say that. All right, Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks are like Crocs, sort of. Similar. There they are. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Good place. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> any yeah. kind of any shoe statement yeah. piece. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have a harp for that? No, we don't. No. Ah, too bad. Name droppers. Good place or bad place? Bad place. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure, bad place. Why do we hate yeah, that disgusting. so much? It's just it's too. It's just so gross. It's it's <laughs> yeah, right. showing off. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's a conceited, the, weird. It's yeah. the main reason I hated Tahani for the whole of season one. It's <laughs> taken me a long okay. time to become friends with her. Makes All right, sense. carpool karaoke. Carpool karaoke. Uh, I've not actually seen it, so I don't. So therefore. I'll send it to the bad place. <laughs> I'll send it to the bad just for that reason. Yeah, I have a quite a myopic, <laughs> egotistical sense of the world. If I haven't seen it, I don't care about I'm it. I'm actually curious about this one and what you think. Pumpkin spice lattes. Now Pumpkin it is October 1st, it's fall, but what do you, a good place or a bad place? 
Bad place. Oh, yeah, too much on the pumpkin stuff. No, yeah, just get over yourself. And also, cinnamon? Is there cinnamon in it? That's good. You can Disgusting. put that. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. All right, uh, now, baths. Is it the ultimate luxury or soaking in your own filth? Soaking in your own filth. Oh. Also, the pruniness of the fingers, and then you have to touch other things, and it makes me feel like my teeth have gone soft. And then I have to be honest. So the evil laugh for that one, too? <laughs> yeah. Bad place for the baths. I'm a, I disagree with you. Well, I'm just talking about it. Just <laughs> happening. Oh, come on. Make me feel sick. Jamila, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You guys, don't miss The Good Place, Thursdays at 8.30 on NBC. And I want those shoes. <laughs>and Janet works closely with Ryan Eggold on the series, and she revealed what surprised her the most about the leading actor. How funny he is, mm -hmm. um, which I didn't really expect before. You know, he's like, he's a good looking guy, and like, I knew, he knew he was a good actor, but he's, he's really funny. So I think that people, when they actually meet him, are surprised at actually how smart and how funny he is. Not yeah. that he's smart, I mean, I thought he'd be smart, but his wit, I guess. No, but then <laughs> you're kind of like, oh, great, you got everything. Good looking, yes, smart, and he, witty. And he's single, so, I mean, oh, uh, yeah. Were people illegal. trying to set him up or anything? All the time, I mm. think, yeah, but he's so busy with the show, but I mean, it's, he's not an easy, per it's, it's not a hard setup to set Ryan up with someone, you know? Everyone wants to go on a date with him. And Ryan isn't the only heartthrob that Janet has starred alongside. Fans may recognize her from the role on This Is Us, and she wasn't shy about why kissing Justin Hartley got a little awkward. So what, we had to kiss one time on set, and I don't know if he's gonna remember this, but when I, when usually when I have like a kissing scene, I don't, uh, I don't like not use my tongue or anything. I just kiss like it's real because it, I want it to look as real as possible. And. I remember me and him having a conversation beforehand. He was like, yeah, it's so weird. I worked with this actress once. She like put her tongue in my, in my mouth. And so then I was like, oh my God, like super worried that I was gonna do that the whole way through. But I didn't tell him. I didn't tell him until like a year later. I was so nervous. I was like, oh God, oh yeah, that's awful that someone would do that. Such a funny story. Really funny. Yeah, I love it. All right, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.